guys and welcome back to Stuff and Things. Yes, I peeled myself away for far too long from Dragonborn. So it looks like we have yet another thing to worry about concerning baby having. Oh, science, always piling on the weight of knowledge. According to research done in Ontario, Manitoba, and Alberta, it's revealed that cesarean sections and whether or not you breastfeed has a huge impact on the natural bacteria, fungi, and viruses found in the baby's belly uh, that help to keep said baby healthy and obviously having a huge impact on whether or not there will be gastrointestinal problems later in life. So to break it down, Women who had their babies via C-section tended to have the lowest count of gut bacteria, and those babies who were not breastfed at all, instead eating formula, had the highest count of gut bacteria. However, there was a higher chance that formula-fed babies had C. difficile, which could give them diarrhea or make them very ill. So it seems to me already that breastfeeding is good, because who wants to deal with more baby poop? I mean, like, come on, it's, it's even ickier baby poop. Nope, not me. So why is gut bacteria so important, you may ask? Well, in the past decade, research has been building a strong foundation on the fact that when a human body's microbiome, or gut bacteria, has been disturbed in some way, there could be a plethora of effects that are not so great that will hang around for the rest of said human's life. Fun times. Things like asthma, allergies, obesity, diabetes, and celiac disease. Having a healthy microbiome in your gut is a very important part of actually living a healthy life. All of the microbes do so many crazy awesome things for your body. They make vitamins, absorb nutrients, help your immune system understand which pathogens to fight against and which are actually good for the body. Before babies are born, they have pretty much nothing in their guts, but when they are born naturally, or pass through their mommy's lady parts, they pick up some of mom's good microbes, which helps develop healthy tummy microbes. When a baby is born via C-section, they don't benefit from this and end up with a microbiome that won't be able to develop properly. An important bacteria group, Bacteriodetes, is pretty much non-existent in C-section babies. These bacteria in this group are linked to allergic eczema and in animals have shown to be important in how the immune system develops. Now, the study did only look at 24 infants, so it's by no means complete, and there's still so much research and testing to do. We don't know yet whether a huge diversity or a very small diversity of gut bacteria is best. One last thing this has brought up for me is the fact that ladies are electing to have C-sections. Man, oh man. The media really needs to stop showing us the horrors of childbirth. Firstly, ladies, Think about it. Laying on your back is totally not going to work very well. There's a thing called gravity, and it tends to help out quite a bit. It's true. It's true. You can't fight gravity. It's just there. Secondly, there isn't one right way to have a baby. you got to listen to your body and figure out what's going to work for you. Thirdly, you cannot go into it thinking you can't handle it. You need to work with the pain and focus it into getting that baby into the world. Yeah, so um, I'm thinking now that Dan's probably pretty glad he didn't have to do this story. Yeah. Um, so what I'd like to know from you is, uh, does science make the burden of decisions heavier all the time for you? Because for me, it's seeming that way. Sometimes learning is just too much. Let us know in the comments down below, and if you like what you've seen today, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button, and I will go play more Dragonborn DLC.